Hello people of the internet, what's going on? I am the Matty Boy 2 welcome back to another video. A couple of days ago I did bring out a 100k squad builder for you guys and it has done really well. So before we get into this video I do want to say a massive thank you for all your support on that. I really really do appreciate it. Today I am bringing you a more expensive squad builder. This team did cost around 250,000 coins. It may vary as people's prices will go up and down, but if you guys don't have the coins to build this team, go and check out FIFACoin.com, use the link in the description of the video to get a discount on all your FIFA coins. Anyway, jumping into this team, in net we do go with Gianluigi Buffon. Um, he's, he's decent, he's not the best keeper I've used, but... He has made some really good saves. One on one, he's nowhere near as good as Zadan. I'm not sure why. Um, but from long shots, he is class. Really, really good stats. Diving, handling, reflexes and positioning are all insane. And then in my opinion, speed and kicking don't really matter. Uh, so he does have a really, really good card. And he did cost me around 55k. At right back, we have gone with, in my opinion, the best cheap right back in the game this year. And that is Mitchell Weiser. Really, really good card. Only cost me 1.2k. I believe he was a silver last year. But this year, as he is a gold, he's a bit cheaper. And he's way, way more usable. Really good pace and dribbling. Defending, physical and passing are all alright. High, medium work rates. Four star weak foot, four star skill moves. They are class. And on the ball, he does feel really, really good. Definitely worth the 1.2k. If you guys haven't tried him yet, I would highly, highly recommend it. The two centre-backs we are going with are both from Juventus and they are Barzagli and Venetia. Two really, really good cards yet again. Um, both have over 70 pace. Um, I, I love Venetia. I hadn't really noticed this card. Uh, in terms of Calcio our centre-backs, I'd always been looking at sort of the Manolas and the Koulibaly. But he has a really good card. Uh, only cost me 8k, medium high work rates. Um, if you look at his in-game stats, his composure is good, which I think is really important for a centre-back. His stamina is really low, um, but you know, to be honest, in-game you don't really feel that. Um, incredibly strong, and from corners, he is an absolute beast. He scored two goals in 11 games for me, both from corners. Uh, Barzagli has scored one, I believe. Uh, Barzagli does have low high work rates. 71 pace, 88 defending, which is unreal. And he's a bit on the weak side, but the anchor chem style does help out with uh, with his physical. 12k he cost me, and Benatia cost me 8k. So 20k for that centre back partnership. I would happily pay 20k for those two players every single day of the week. At left back, I have gone with Jordi Alba. 50k, one of the more expensive players in this team. But you look at his card and you can see why. He's on the short side, high medium work rate, so insane pace, really good dribbling and defending for a fullback. Physical and passing aren't the best, but I think for a fullback you don't really need physical. Uh, and he's rapid, so he will catch up to any uh, like any single winger you come up against. He will catch up with them, uh, and you can you know slide or stand tackle. He doesn't really need the uh, the strength. But he's got 93 acceleration, 93 sprint speed, 90 stamina. So this guy isn't going to get low on energy at all. And then 90 agility and 86 balance. Everything in his dribbling is green, which is incredible. He feels so good on the ball. He's so nimble and just a really, really fun player to use. Uh, I don't know about paying 50k for him. Maybe if he went down to sort of 45, 40k, I'd happily pay that. But I don't mind paying 50k, to be honest, guys. Uh, right now, coins aren't too big of an issue for me. Then the three centre mids I have gone with are uh, Paulinho, Thiago and Goretzka. Three really, really, really well-rounded cards. Um, I have gone with Thiago in the uh, central centre mid spot. Um, medium, medium work rates. The other two have high, high. But I have put a sentinel on there. Because I prefer my central centre mid to stay back. So 
the Sentinel's going to boost his defending and physical just to uh, to help out with those defensive stats. Dribbling is insane. That's one thing Thiago's always been good at, dribbling. Uh, he's only got two assists in 11 games, but like I say, I prefer him staying back. And he does get forward still, uh, but he's like the midpoint of the team. He's the main focus point, so everything goes through him. He starts every single play, and he is really, really good. He did cost me 70k. He is the most expensive player in the team. What I say is worth it? Honestly, no. He's a really good player, really fun to use, but um, if he went down to sort of 60, 55k, he is, uh, he'd definitely be worth that. But 70k, again, he's really good to use and he, uh, he is really good for the team as well. He does have those five star skill moves. I'm not the biggest skiller, but if you guys uh, are into using your skill moves, then he may be worth the 70k for you guys. Next to him, we have Leon Goretzka. Like I mentioned before, high, high work rates. 27 and a half K pretty much this guy cost me. And he is definitely worth that. I know a lot of people are a massive fan of this guy. 84 pace for centimetre. That sort of icon territory, you know, Vieira, uh, Hullet. Really, really good. And he is rapid. You can definitely feel that. Four star weak foot. He gets forward quite a lot, but with that height of six foot two, he will win headers and drop deep for you and help out defensively. Uh, four goal contributions in 11 games is not bad at all. Uh, he will run in behind the defence, and one on one, you can shoot any which way you want, and is almost guaranteed to be a goal. Next year, if he continues performing like he has been in real life, who knows what rating he could be, and. He could be one of the uh, the best players on FIFA in the years to come. Then the final centre mid I have gone with is Paulinho. Back in FIFA, performing really well in real life. 8.3k he cost me. Again, high, high work rates. Only 3 star, 3 star, which isn't the best. 3 goal contributions in 11 games, so not quite as good as Goretzka. But he does feel just as good. Really, really well-rounded card. His dribbling feels a lot higher than 77, to be honest. He's got awful agility and balance, to be honest. But he feels really nimble. He can get past defenders like it's nobody's business. Really, really fun card to use. And his long shots as well. I don't know what rating they are. 76 feel at least 85. His long shots are really good. I don't think I've had one that's been off target yet. Just a generally really good player to use. At left forward, we do go with Gerard De La Feu. The ex-Everton man is back at Barcelona, and he has an unreal card. This guy is a steal for 8k. High low work rates, 4 star, 4 star. Insane pace and dribbling. Passing is alright, but when I play 4-3-2-1, I don't really look at passing, because I want all three attackers scoring. Uh, his shooting is not the best, and his physical isn't the best. But, I tell you what, with a finisher card, this guy is the shit. I'm not sure um, what his shooting and physical stats actually go up to with a finisher. His stamina isn't the best, but it feels decent enough in game. He doesn't get tired that quickly. His balance isn't the best, but his agility more than makes up for that. You can see there, without the, uh, the finisher kind of style, his shooting stats aren't great. But, they get boosted so much with a finisher. He's so clinical, he's rapid, he will get past anyone. 12 goal contributions in 11 games. And that's from playing foot champs, squad battles on world class and legendary, and divisions as well. I've not been playing divisions that much this year though, so mainly squad battles and foot champs. He is one of my favourite players in this team, he is really, really good. And right forward, we do go with Kingsley Coman. Position change from last year, he is now on his favoured right side. Only 8 goal contributions in 11 games, but I do sub him off in sort of the uh, 60th minute for that inform uh, Locadia or Locadia on the bench who I did pack. Uh, again, not a bad card at all. Pace is insane, dribbling's not the best, but it's uh, it's good enough. Shooting is better than Daily Fayus, put it that way. Uh, he's really good at shooting. Um, but, yeah, it's got to be on his right foot. 
Dale Feu can shoot with either foot. Koeman only has that three-star weak foot, so he does have to be on his right foot. And he's really weak. But again, I've gone with the uh, the finisher chem style, which does boost both the shooting and physical and makes him feel like a really, really good player in-game. So nimble, will get past anyone. And I know I've said that a lot, but this team is really, really good for dribbling. He's rapid and his shots are really, really good, especially one-on-one. -on -one. He will score every single time. And then up front, we do go with the main man himself, Kevin Gamero. Uh, tw 28 goals in 28 games is mad, as well as 13 assists. Only medium-medium work rates. He is on the short side, but 87 pace, 83 shooting are both unreal. His dribbling and physical aren't the best, but the marksman does boost both of them. Not the best week for skill moves, but you can't tell. He's just as clinical with his left foot, in my opinion, as his right foot. Uh, if you go to his attribute details, stamina, again, not the best, but his jumping is amazing. And he scores so many headers, uh, especially when he's on the front post from corners, uh, which is really up here again this year. Agility and balance aren't the best, but uh, they are boosted by the marksman chem style. I think I could be wrong. Uh, every single shooting stat, though, and pace stat, is incredible and I think he's going for about 15k right now I'd pay at least at least 30k for this guy to be honest if you haven't tried him he is the one player I'm recommending to everyone right now really really good uh, and yeah that is it uh, the custom tactics are the same as the other squad uh, if you guys haven't seen that video then here are the custom tactics go ahead and pause the video copy them and then player instructions again are the same. Stay central, get in behind and press the back line for all three attackers. And then Tiago on stay back while attacking. I don't touch anything else. But anyway, that is it for this video guys. Once again, thank you so much for the love and support recently. We have finally hit 600 subs, which is amazing. Thank you all so much. Leave a like on this video. If we smash 25 likes, I will bring you guys the best FIFA 18 trading method right now you can make so much profit from it guys so if you do want to see that make sure you smash the like button subscribe if you haven't done so already and yeah thanks for watching you guys are the best